Today we're happy to be t uh, chatting with Shallon Cates, who plays Mama Knight on Big Time Rush. Hi, Shallon. How are you? Hey. I'm good. How are you doing? Very good. Um, when you first started off doing the show, did you think it would turn out to be such a huge success? Um, well, I certainly hope so, and I thought it was good, but you never know. You never know how the audience is going to respond, and um, it's always so much fun when you're in the middle of filming it. Um, so I'm just so happy that the audience did embrace it as much as they have, and, and the fans have been fantastic, and it enabled us to keep filming more and more episodes and, and having a good time doing it. Absolutely, and we love the show. I, I heard the show films for hours on each episode. Can you tell us what it's like on the set? Uh, <laughs> well, um, it's a lot of fun on set. It's, um, we have an amazing cast and crew, and um, we always have a really good time together. Um, and, uh, you know, any time I'm working with, the guys or with Sierra, it's just, it's just a blast, and it's, um, it's always very creative and very exciting, and, um, and something that I always look forward to. Absolutely, and then how did you initially get started on Big Time Rush? How did you get the role? <laughs> well, I got the role, um, through the most normal channel. I didn't know anybody. I just got an audition through my agent, and I went in and read to the casting director, and, um, you know, I left, and I was like, that was great, that would be a lot of fun, and then a couple days later, my agent called and said, so, you're the mom on this new Nickelodeon show, I was like, yay, cool. <laughs> yeah, we love your character. Yeah, do you have a favorite episode that you filmed so far? Um, well, obviously, I love Big Time Mom, that was definitely one of my favorites. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, I also love the, um, the beach episode, Big Time Beach Party, and, um, and then there are a couple of episodes that haven't come out yet that, particularly for me, were fun. There was um, Big Time Weddings and um, Big Time Superhero. Uh -huh. We actually spoke with uh, Stephen Glickman, and he was telling us about... Um uh, the Big Time Superhero as well. He said that was his favorite. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it was fun for everybody because everybody gets to have a little a hand in some sort of superhero action. And then uh, what would you like to see happen on the next season of the show? Well, I'd like to see, you know, the... I'd like to see the characters evolve as far as, you know, what happens to a band when, when success happens. And they've certainly gained more success on the show and in real life. And I think it's interesting to see um, how that affects people and how that affects your life and, and um, what kind of new problems that presents um, to, to, each, to each character. Absolutely. And then you work, like, yeah. Yes, definitely. And then you work with some very cool guest stars, including Fabio and Lorenzo Lamas and Eric Estrada. How did you like working with them? <laughs> They were all fun. I mean, they're all great. I mean, they're, I mean, they're such good sports, and because um, we've made them do some pretty insane things, and um, and they have a blast doing it. I mean, we have, we've had Ed Bigley Jr. a couple times too, and he's such a good sport. Um, yeah, it's been it's been great working with all these people. Lisa Rena was in the Moms episode, and uh, Russ Brand. So it's it's always fun to work with our guest stars. Um, whether they're, you know, famous or not, we, we've had some really great actors on the show. Uh-huh, definitely. And then who would you like to see guest star on the show? Who would I like to see guest star? Mm. Ooh, I don't know, but I can't wait to find out who's going to play Kendall's dad. Ooh, <laughs> that should be interesting. He better be really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Since you have uh, two kids of your own, would you say they watch the show as well? Are they Big Time Rush fans? They are, yeah. They they do watch the show. Um, my daughter is uh, getting ready to turn three, and my son is getting ready to turn six. And um, so they both enjoy the show, and they and they love the album. They know all the words to the songs, and they they love to dance to the album. And, uh, and of course, my son loves to wear all of his big time rush paraphernalia. His his big time rush T-shirt is completely trashed. Oh, <laughs> that's funny that they're fans of the show. Mm-hmm.
And yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> one of the guys' newest uh, songs is If I Rule the World. So we're going to ask you, if you rule the world, what would you do? If I rule the world? Yes. Oh, gosh. If I rule the world, we would have world peace and no wars and uh, no famine um, and no hatred. That's, that's how I would rule the world. Absolutely. That's a very tall order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kendall uh, mentioned he wanted free cinnamon roll Wednesday. Logan said he wanted a dance party. James said eliminate sickness, and Carlos said nap time. <laughs> Those are all very neat requests. And uh, we're actually, yes, we're going to talk about your newest movie coming out, your Hallmark Channel movie called um, a Chris Love's Christmas Journey. Can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, it's um, a western um, that's set in the 1800s, and it's a um, it's a holiday film. It's a, it's set during Christmas time, so um, so I know exactly when it'll be airing. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really sweet movie, and, and uh, I I told you before I love wearing um, those costumes, so it was a blast for me because I love I love playing dress up. Oh, yeah, definitely. And like I said, we uh, saw the photo on Twitter, so you gave us a bit of a sneak peek there, which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Twitter, how do you like using Twitter? Uh, I think I have a love-hate relationship with Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it depends on my mood. Sometimes I feel like I have so much to say and so much to share. And then I have some days where I'm like, oh, I just have nothing to say. And then I feel so boring. And I'm like, why do I just have nothing to say today? Mm. So... Yeah, it's, um, I definitely have a, I have a love-hate thing with Twitter. Oh, uh, well, we love your tweets. We like your behind-the-scenes photos <laughs> you give us. And yeah. And we like your background. Maybe it's because we're not shooting Big Time Rush right now. <laughs> yes. And we like your background um, with all the Big Time Rush photos. Very neat. <laughs> and then um, you also worked on shows like CSI and Desperate Housewives. How did you like working on those? Oh, I love it. I mean, I love every experience. You know, I mean, you just, you learn so much from being on every different set and working with different actors, and and you just, that's a great thing about being an actor is you never stop learning. There's always more to learn from, from every experience and every film and every TV episode and, and every actor and director that you get to work with. It's, uh, so it's always very exciting. Uh, is there anything else we can look forward to? <clears throat> well, um, rumor has it there's going to be a big time rush movie. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I'm excited about that, if indeed it is happening. Um, so that's, um, yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to. That would be very exciting. Play. And that would air on Nickelodeon, the movie? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. We're excited for that. <laughs> and then everyone can make sure to follow you on Twitter and uh, check you out on Big Time Rush.